the inspiration for youth. What, what is the inspiration for youth? Huh? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the inspiration for youth. Quran is the inspiration for youth. Ahadith are inspirations for youth. And then the Sahaba who followed in the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who learned Quran, who learned Ahadith and followed Quran and Ahadith, they are all inspirations. The, 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 the youth are looking for inspiration. I lack inspiration. What can inspire me? Allah's Nabi can inspire us. Quran will inspire us. Ahadith will inspire us. The, the Seerah will inspire us. And the Sahaba Kiram Ridwanullah Ta'ala Ali Majmeen, their lives will inspire us. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ashabi Kan Nujum, each and every companion of mine is a guiding star. Star, he will inspire you. Bi ayyihim ittadaytum ihtadaytum, whomsoever you will follow, you will reach the destination. Jannah and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. They are inspiration. Thereafter, the Tabi'in are inspirations. Hassan Ibisri is inspiration. Imam Adam Abu Hanifa is inspiration. Imam Malik is inspiration. Sufyan Thawri is inspiration. Rahimahumullah Ta'ala. Then our pious predecessors of the past, they are our inspirations. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani Rahmatullahi Alayhi. Sheikh Junaid Baghdadi Rahmatullahi Alayhi. And then the Mashaykh of our time, Sheikh Al Hadith Mawlana Muhammad Zakariya Sahib Rahmatullahi Alayhi. Sheikh Abul Hassan Ali Nadavi Rahmatullahi Alayhi. Hazrat Mawlana Ilyas Sahib Rahmatullahi Alayhi. Mawlana Rasheed Ahmad Gangohi Rahmatullahi Alayhi. They are all inspiration for us. Those pious people who live in our area, they are also inspiration for us. The ulama, the muttaqeen, they are also inspiration for us. All these are inspirations. Quran is inspiration, hadith is inspiration. The life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is inspiration. And everybody whom after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam molds his life according to his life, that is the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will become inspiration. Sometimes my friend, only one hadith becomes inspiration. Only one ayah becomes inspiration. Only one ayah. So what we need, what we need to do is to understand that Allah is all forgiving. Did this ayah, innahu huwa al rahim does this not inspire a young man who is drowned in sins, who has lost all hopes, who has become despondent when he hears that Allah is all forgiving, all merciful? Does that not, does not, that not inspire you? Definitely, it inspires us. Definitely, in each and every verse of the Quran inspires a person towards Jannah, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what we need to do is to mold ourselves according to the Quran, mold ourselves according to the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, and, and they are the, the, the main inspiration for us. If we mold ourselves according to the Quran and the Ahadith, the seerah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we will also become inspirational. Then people will be inspired by us. They will see us as inspiration. They will see us as inspiration. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the fountain of inspiration, my friends. Fountain of it. The Quran is the fountain of inspiration. The Ahadith, fountain of inspiration. And all those people who follow in the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they, are, they all become the fountains of inspiration. Naqshe kadam nabi ke hai, jannat ke raaste. Nakshe, this is the inspiration. Nakshe kadam nabi ke hai, jannat ke raaste. The footsteps of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam leads one to jannah. Nakshe kadam nabi ke hai, jannat ke raaste. Allah se milate hai, sunnat ke raaste. Every sunnah is inspiration. Every verse of the Quran is inspiration.